Hello everyone. So in this short recording, I will talk about the first steps in Python. The, I will compare Python with Excel and MATLAB. So Python is more programming type language than engineering. So what it means is that you need some programming skills for, for Python. The second thing is that it has more diverse commands depending on the library that you use and the, but it is flexible. Uh, because it is open source and free so that everyone can input his part for the Python. So it is more flexible than the MATLAB and the Excel. For these ones, you need some inputs from the company itself. But for Python, the users from all over the world, they have the contributions. And also for Python, you need to search and install the library that you need. So it's not like the Excel or MATLAB that you install it and that's all. No, for Python, you if you, for example, if you need to plot something, you have to find the library for plotting. If you need the array or matrix operations, you need the Python again library. So this way, for any part of the the engineering that you need, you have to install the Python library. But it is not like for every command you need some Python library, but it is more like the every topic, every chapter, you can say you need the Python library. Then also the you can create your own library, it's possible, but you will waste your time if somebody else did it for you. That means that somebody spent time for it, but you are duplicating the work. And also, it is if you don't suffer from NIH syndrome, so debugging your own library is not so easy. So if you have a library, if you try to build your own one, then the small comma error it can take it can take up days to find what is the problem. So that is the reason that generally the people go with the existing library and then rather than creating their own library. And also the, we will need NumPy for our class, the library that we need that is used for computational purposes, like mainly for array and matrix operations. We will use matplotlib that is used for plotting purposes. And also that is your best debugger is ChatGPT. So you should use ChatGPT for Python more than the other ones because that is Python, as I said, more programming language that you always need help for debugging the problem in your code. So that is the ChatGPT is the best help for you than Googling and finding the, the debugger in, in finding the problem in your code. So these are the first steps in Python. I hope you like the Python and you like the problems in Python. Have a great day.